phone, the commencement of the Lord Lake South Wind Farm, to take into account the results of this research and therefore rearrange your turbine placement, once again, taking into account the results of the Uh, no, I think the difficult answer is no. Um, the North Lake South Wind Farm has, has got a planning permit. Um, rightly, rightly or wrong, it has got a planning permit. And our company's intention is to build the wind farm. We do uh, believe that there needs to be some more research. Can you speak up, please? No, speak up. I can't hear you. I know that these projects continue, like Warbra or begin, like at North Lake South, we hope, without that research being in place. I know that's difficult in terms of people having confidence in new farms. Um, we support the call for more research, but we do have a permit for, that allows us to do, with some further assessments to be undertaken, that allows us to do the more Lake South in farms. I'll say that there have been 17 or 18 reviews of the health research into wind farms globally, <coughs> including by our National Health and Medical Research Council. They have all reached largely the same conclusions, and that is why our company says that there is no evidence about the connection between health and the okay? That's not what I say. Those reviews, that's wrong. I've got a question on the right. Yes. Uh, yes, David. Um, I People, I'm from near Stockyard Hill, and we potentially have nearly 200 towers in all of us. I find this so sad. So sad and arrogant. So I've watched the body language of these two men in this room, <laughs> and they don't care about you. They don't care about you. So take your head in shame. How dare you do this to people? Your companies like this are doing it all over Victoria, and you are destroying communities. You have no right to make them sick. You have no right to do this to people. Stand as a community, fight them, because they are, they fight dirty. Get smart and beat them. Now, the bloke in front said you bought property around Warbra. Yes. More than one house all around your wind farm, I guess. I haven't seen it. Seven properties. Yeah. Are there certain More. executives, and you two in particular, going to live in those houses? <laughs> <laughs> and, and show us that you believe it's safe. Right. Yeah. Yes, so please. We have, we have purchased seven properties at Warbra. We had to purchase four. The planning permit for the property in farm required us to purchase four properties. You can hear them swooping, but you can. Um, there's got to be a 5 dB penalty. Right? So this wind farm's been designed at 39. It's got to be changed to 34 or 35 before it goes ahead. The other thing is this wind farm has been put forward by Christopher Delair. He has no qualifications at all in acoustics. He's only an engineer. He has no qualifications for acoustics. This wind farm has a potential to go to a height of 100 metres high. In a planning panel report, they said that this has to have a peer review report if the height of those towers went at in high. Uh, uh, yeah, from 80, it's going to, in your screen, it says it can go up to 100 metres. In the panel report, it says it has to have a peer review report. This wind farm needs a peer review like the Warble Wind Farm because it's going to send up like the Warble Wind Farm. The Warble Wind Farm. The planning panel said there must be provision for 5dB special order characteristics. It wasn't in it. It was at 40. Warbra Wind Farm is, without ground absorption, can go up to 45. There's no ground absorption where we live because the bloody noise is 300 metres above the ground. The, the engineer 
who's supposed to be doing this, acoustic engineer, the engineer, there's no training in acoustics, so anything he's done, in all the farms that's been approved around here is invalid. The whole damn lot of them should be shut down and peer reviewed and done yes. with that juice to engine. <laughs> two or three centuries or maybe two thousand years. Then suddenly we went from wind power to steamships. And when we ran out of steam we went to motor ships. And then suddenly someone saw nuclear power. That goes better than motor ships. <laughs> and then we I, I retire from the merchant navy, I come home here, and they're coming back to wind. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Fund. At our Gunning Wind Farm in New South Wales, which is, which is much smaller, we put $1,000 per turbine per annum uh, into the Community Benefit Fund, and those funds are dispersed to community groups. For the Mort Lake Wind Farm, uh, put it in the, road. the fund would commence once the wind farm commences operations. We haven't confirmed what the actual amount would be as yet, but I would envisage it would be a, a similar amount. We also have an amount for sponsorship. Uh, for local, local groups, which is in the order of, I don't know, twenty thousand dollars a year. Once the wind farm's operational, we've got a little bit of that money out the moment. Second part, no, second part of that question uh, would be, uh, given what the mood of the meeting is tonight, yes. um, as a community gesture, would it be a better idea to perhaps steer away from supporting the community clubs and things like that, and just do the research that everyone's asking? Yeah. In my business here, I probably should be impartial, but. Um, mm. To noise, audible noise. The whole part of this is the low frequency noise, which you guys will not go near. Well, I can tell you about the up. We are about to do monitoring of low frequency noise. And can no, 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 no. Do it, do it, do it, do it before. Model, model it, uh, model it, please, and then let everybody here in Mortlake put it in the paper and publicise what you believe the low frequency with your contours is going to be at each of one of these people's home before you start, and put it in black and white. <laughs> because they were very close to turbines, less than 500 metres from turbines. And the planning permit for the Warble Wind Farm said you have to purchase those four houses. One of those is where our maintenance facility was subsequently built, which is where our operations start to base and our, our maintenance is conducted. The other house is by staff. We purchased three other houses since the wind farm commenced operations. The one was the house that is, is widely known, Trish, uh, my husband's name Godfrey, um, uh, who soon after the wind farm uh, commenced operation uh, complained about the impact of the wind farm on them, particularly from a visual perspective. We went through <laughs> <laughs> over that process a thing called a non-disparagement clause was put in the contract, which meant that both parties, ourselves and the Godfreys, weren't uh, allowed, I'm not a lawyer, we weren't allowed to say, in my layman's language, negative things about each other. Okay? Thank you. So, we houses. One came onto the market, and the noise levels at that house were close to the noise level under which we are obliged to operate. Is that the same noise level we'll get here? Yes, So, then how many houses one we would have that's the, that's the New Zealand 98, not the 2010. You weren't good enough to use the 2010 on us, were you? And you're still hiding behind 98. Yeah, I know you have the planning permit, but why did you not use the current standards? That's the question. You have the permit, but current standards say you're in violation. So why don't you have the decency to live with the current standards? It is based on the 1998 noise standard. Well, that's a joke. That's a joke.
in New Zealand. Yeah. Why was that standard? Because it wasn't good enough. I, I do not believe you are here tonight to really answer any questions. No. <laughs> You're just standing there taking comments. That's fine. But, you know, we, we sort of expected a little bit more. Yes, I'll take that straight to the boss. And I'll let you know that these people in this room were not happy. <laughs> 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 Uh, I'm just assuring you that our whole company knows that we are here tonight. Good on Dave and Anthony. And Ian and I will be briefing our uh, senior managers for our, our bosses. When we get back, Ian and I are senior managers in the company. My role is about community relations. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my role. Yep. And Ian's role is our project manager, senior well. manager. Um, our managing director is not here, Andrew Thompson, but he will be briefed on. All of our interactions with the project. Did you tell me what you tell the radio? We've got overwhelming support. Yeah, yeah. Because that's what I heard on the radio today, and that's not what I'm seeing tonight. So, what are your conversations? How about getting your managing director here? He's laying off the cover to get managing director. Do these wind turbines of your company require wind and wind alone to operate? Uh, can you just explain? I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> no, but don't. Is the answer. They <laughs> have things inside them that run on electricity. Where is that that electricity yeah. comes from the same power as the light switch here. Right. Yeah. 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 Yep. Consumed so off the grid. Yep. Yep. To operate. They do. Yes. A small so they produce electricity, which is then exported or connected from the turbine. Through underground cables. Uh, underground? Or no. Underground. Yeah, what I mean is that would be overdraft. So how, how can we get uh, underground cables that run to a substation on the wind farm, and then it's typically an overhead transmission line that connects it to the main grid, and that can either be a new purpose built transmission line, or it can be on an existing power poles that are there. So that's how they work. And uh, what's the Lake South one? Where's that power line? How's it connected? It's proposed that it connects to uh, terrain. How? Where does it go? Well, that's, that's still to be confirmed. There is a transmission line oh, that runs. So you don't even know yet? No, that's connected. So you don't have a permit for power line? No, no, that process is still to happen. Yeah, and what if you don't get on You and your family can live there. 12 months, then come back and tell everyone here there's no problem.